Hey guys, it's been a while. So the earth is kind of crazy right now. Yeah. <laughs> so I am hyposensitive, which kind of means that all the stimuli that I am being impacted by, I don't respond to um, as much. It is understimulated. So lots of people have like overstimulation when a bunch of things are happening. I don't have that. I'm the opposite of that, so I don't react at all, which is in some ways can be good, in some ways can be bad. So things either don't hit us for a while and then hit us really hard, or we don't respond to it at all. And so one of the reasons is like lots of people have level like from one two, three, four, and they build in their reaction to things. It just takes a process where you're becoming more and more emotionally impacted by it. Hyposensitives start at one and two and then jump to eight, nine, ten. And so one of the reasons that we freak out is because things have been piling on and we don't notice it. But to every bad side of it, there is a good side as well. Um, I don't feel stress for a while about things. Uh, and sometimes if they don't, like, if they, it hits, like, me on emotional levels one and two, and I'm kind of building up, and then, like, thing ends, then I have nothing to be stressed about. I don't process that something is about to happen until it is already happening, and I'm like, oh, well, it's already happening now, I don't have time to be nervous about it. <laughs> so that is the emotional side of it. Um, there's also the physical side, which you probably first thought of when I said hyposensitivity. When I am touched, it, I, I feel like my brain doesn't process it. You have to like pat me really hard for me to like get that tactile feedback. That's why I stim so hard that some people think like squeezing me like, oh, doesn't this hurt? And I'm like, no, I can actually feel it. If you actually just like, run, like I can't, like my brain goes like error, error, malfunction, like what, what, it doesn't know how to process this. It's really weird. Um, the good parts of it is I have a high pain tolerance. The bad part is I might not feel something that needs to be addressed. Um, so like if I'm scratching myself and I just keep scratching, then it doesn't hurt. And like I have to scratch really hard and it feels nice. And then I look down and my arm is completely inflamed. Like sometimes an unwanted emotional response from other people. So if I just like hit myself in the head, just be like, Bleh. like that, that just feels good. Other people are gonna be like, what? The third part is interoception. That is feeling what is going on inside your body. So um, some things that I like about being hypersensitive in terms of interoception is I am not aware of what my body looks like, how it's moving, how it looks to other people when I am like being me. So I don't really have self-confidence issues. I just have a weird mind-body disconnect between how I look, and so I've never really had self-esteem issues. I might not feel that my body's signaling me that something needs to happen, and so I could have health problems like my poor posture. I don't realize that my body is signaling me, like with my back hurting, I need to sit up straighter. I will not feel that I have to use the bathroom into, like, I'll, I'll get a headache. And I'll be like, why do I have a headache? And then I realize I just have to pee. I can feel myself being hungry and I can actively say, oh, I'll eat later and actively forget about it. Also auditory processing disorder. That is when I can hear what you're saying, but I'm hyposensitive to the actual words that are being formed. So I have to listen very carefully or else it just sounds like you're mumbling. And my last point that I wanna make is about awareness. So I'm hyposensitive in awareness in terms of, I have a decreased sensory awareness of the environment. And so a lot of times I just appear, oh, a cat. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I can immediately spot a cat <laughs> when it's walking around in my yard. But most of the time I feel kind of like I'm oblivious to a lot of stuff that's going on. Um, what's nice is like in a normally stressful environment that people are in, I can focus on small, like, fun, good details about what's happening and ignore like all the other bad sides. I think that's why I feel like I'm such a positive person. The bad side of that is what my mom is most worried about for me is I don't have a sense of danger. I, I didn't have the, the like awareness that something bad could happen. And so not seeing and connecting those issues that I need to react to. Being hyposensitive uh, has good sides and bad sides, um, but that's kind of what it feels like for me. I feel like it's a big part of 
the autistic sensory system that is not acknowledged because so many of us are like hypersensitive and that's way more noticeable from the outside perspective. People don't know how I'm responding to things internally. They only see how I'm responding externally. And you have more external uh, responses when you're overstimulated than when you're understimulated. Um, the first time I ever saw it mentioned in anything that was not a medical terminology setting was in Everything's Gonna Be Okay. I love this show so much. But Drea s explains that she's hyposensitive. And I was like, oh my gosh, finally, <laughs> we're acknowledging this. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to continue to drink my coffee and stay under house arrest <laughs> because of quarantine. All right, I'll see you guys later, <laughs> bye.